what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this is going to be a quick video today on rennie harlan's upcoming the strangers trilogy that he has coming out later this year well i think the first one's supposed to come out in may yeah but we have new details on rennie harlan's upcoming strangers trilogy shout out to hunter bolding for sharing these bits on twitter so this is all coming from the WonderCon panel that took place this weekend related to the upcoming film first things first this story apparently is taking place over three days instead of three years according to rennie harlan i do want to pause and say that i never actually stopped to even consider how much time was passing in between each movie i don't know why i just felt it felt like a safe assumption that all three of the films if you're shooting them back to back like that i don't know if i was the only one but it seemed pretty obvious that all of their movies would have likely been in close proximity of each other and not stretched years apart or anything like that so it's going to be taking over three days specifically according to rennie harlan now there was another good tension-based clip that was shown at wondercon where madeline pesh's character maya is hiding in a bush being stalked by who i can only assume is baghead it might be that sequence or brief glimpse of the sequence we see in the trailer that dropped over a month ago at this point go ahead and drop it online please drop it online because the official social media account posted these three new posters already of the characters and this clip sounds just as good as the last one with the nail that nail clip was everything i needed that the trailer for whatever reason wasn't giving me the clip alone i thought was better than the trailer and this clip here also sounds like it's right on the right in the same vicinity of what that nail clip gave me which that nail clip got me more hyped for the movie than the actual trailer itself now, despite this film being a trilogy, Harlan revealed it wasn't intended to be, or despite this trilogy being a trilogy, I should say, not this film <laughs> being a trilogy, Harlan revealed that it wasn't intended to be like this, but the script was so gargantuan. Harlan has also made it known that they are not copying or remaking the original. We will learn what makes the strangers tick without hearing a single word from them in parts one, two, or three. See, I'd be a little bit more excited about this if I didn't have this other thought in my mind. While they might not be talking, maybe it's going to be someone else that's going to speak for them, which I also hope is not the case. I've said before in previous videos about this topic, about this series. If we learn about them without everything being spelled out from A to Z, then some viewers are going to find that much more digestible they'll be able to accept that you're exploring the strangers especially if some things are left up to interpret without you stepping on what was so iconic about the original and that not knowing why they're really there outside of that nothing line of because you were home which is also so terrifying because you're making it apparent that you have no motive now giving them motive again it's fine depending on how it's explored that's why i'm a little bit on the fence he's saying that we're not going to hear it come hear a single word from them in parts one two or three that explore them in the, in the way that i would hate to see but i'm still on on the fence because if it's not them what if it's someone else who's doing all the exposition dumping i'll just have to remain hopeful that it's not the case and that we're going to be seeing a less is more approach that also leaves things open to interpretation for us as viewers so the movies according to rennie harlan also get bigger more epic and grander in scale as the trilogy go as we get deeper in the trilogy which is of course how things should go we also know that in the trilogy from what he's told us in the past we're going to be exploring how the survivor of the first movie which i'm assuming is going to be madeline is going to be dealing with this going to be exploring her trauma i think that's what he's alluded to in the past and it does in fact look like the town is in on this stuff based off of the trailer i really hope they don't go down that path but again execution is everything last but not least the strangers chapter two is going to release this fall now i believe we originally were told all three would drop this year but i'd bet part three will release sometime in early 2025 part two dropping this fall what what month and date that was not revealed if it was revealed it wasn't mentioned in any of these tweets i hope it's in october since uh well it could actually be september i don't think saw x or saw 11 is going to make its release date i think that's going to have a delay announcement shortly it could drop in september since it won't have to worry about saw 11 if that's delayed as i think it will be but what do you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below are you excited that you're going to have part two in the fall would you prefer to see part three in the winter if if they can make it i don't think they're going to do that well at least not 
at the tail end of 2024 because the winter of course can carry into january 2025 or even february let me know what you think about all these updates down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification or you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all of my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video